agonizing hours, countless hours, trying to put these shows together, and it starts probably a year before we even hit the road. Because every time I do a record, it gets hard to figure out, oh my lord, what's gonna be off the list, and what should I put on, and you know, I want people to hear songs that they really love, and that they're familiar with, and you know, I kind of want to do some new stuff, and I want to do some album cuts. Anyway, one night I was up, and I just maybe had a half box of wine, nothing excessive. <laughs> And it was about two o'clock in the morning and I had all these lists and paper all over my kitchen table and the cat was helping me, not really. <laughs> and um, I just thought, I am going to send out a Twitter. <laughs> and I'm just gonna say, what do you guys wanna hear at the show? <laughs> send. P.S. The top one, I'll play the song at the show. Send. So I'm thinking, holy smokes, I, I didn't really take into account that there'd be a lot of wacky people up drinking their own boxes of wine like me. <laughs> and that I might have been catching them unawares because what came back to me was like the most depressing list of my songs I've ever written. <laughs> but there was one, and it was the true, honest to God, authenticated winner. My dog saw it, we did the count. <laughs> Witness. And this is the song that won. This is the song that's on the list, and it's quaint, it's cute. Um, I haven't played it for probably 10 or 12 years, maybe even longer. And this is going out to all you twats. I don't even know what the plural is. I have no offense by that. Except to Bob. This is called Ode to a Friend.